Hello my sweet goats, welcome to another video. Now listen, this video here isn't going to fit into a particular series on this channel. It's actually a one-off, and more importantly, it's a one-off that I've owed to you guys for a very, very long time. Uh, now for the people who follow me and regularly interact with me, whenever they watch my interviews that I host with people across the political spectrum, they're just going to see me being me, which is which is respectful and agreeable. And that really is me, because... You know, I was raised to have respect for others, and ultimately, I was raised to be a bit of a good guy. Uh, but for the people who don't like me, or the people who hate follow me, or the people who are skeptical of me, uh, they'll see it as, as weak political positioning, or, or someone that's pretty much just trying to attain fame at any cost. And I find that that's a, while I do, while I do not generally like to respond to that kind of criticism, because I feel like it's, it's not valid whatsoever, uh, I, I can understand how it may look if, if you don't really know who I am or, or, and don't have the time to really uh, understand who I am. Because I understand that you've got a busy life. You're not going to take the time to message me and be like, Hey, Bunty, what do you, what do you think of this or what do you think of that? The, the, the reality is that I do feel very strongly about certain things. But when it comes to these interviews, I, I try to avoid uh, focusing or zeroing in on the disagreements I may have with my guests because I don't want to put them on a defensive state. I want to understand who they are. I want them to open up and I want to attain that level of common ground. And so far, every person that I've interviewed with, in, interviewed, I, I, I've attained some form of common ground with and you'll be able to see it. Any interview you watch, it's never going to be hostile. It's always where we understand each other, uh, at least with, with one aspect of our belief system, with one aspect. And I think that's important in discussion. It really is. It's important in all aspects of life. It's, it's the most diplomatic approach to, to disagreements. Uh, it's to find common ground. It's to understand who they are and, and genuinely appreciate something that you guys both share. But listen, I could talk about that shit all fucking day. And what I really want to do with you right now is a political spectrum test. Uh, it's something that I've noticed that other social political commentators on the platform have done with their audiences. And I feel is, is, is really important to do, actually, if you're going to be talking about political shit. And I apologize for not having done it sooner with you. Now, the test that I have here is called Politiscales. And, and uh, the, the, the link to it is in the description below. It was actually sent to me by a viewer in response to a thread I had done uh, in which I posted my uh, politicalcompass.org uh, results uh, in comparison to that of Ian Miles Chong. And, uh, and I, I was going to do it on my own, but then I figured, you know what? Might as well make a video out of it. Might as well make some fucking money. <laughs> let's make some fucking money while doing it. But yeah, okay, let's go ahead and jump right into it. I believe this asks uh, a, quite a few more questions than political compass and eight values. Uh, and, uh, yeah, let's just, just, let's just do this. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. So question one of 117 i feel like this is going to be a bit of a lengthy video i do apologize space colonization is a good solution for supplying the lack of raw materials on earth iron rare metal yes absolutely agree fuck yeah parents should not exist absolutely disagree get the fuck out of here with that shit nuclear fission when well when well maintained is a good source of energy absolutely agree absolutely agree the influence of religion should decrease absolutely agree a hundred percent by the way so for all of those fucking people that thought that i was talking about going to religion and bringing it to the state you guys are out of your minds you weren't trying to listen you were just listening to what was saying going on in your head and then you listened to that fucking atheism is unstoppable video and then came my way dumb don't ever do that shit again okay be smart don't listen to random people start asking questions Schools should mostly teach our values, traditions, and fundamental knowledge. Ooh, what? That's a little weird. Schools should mostly teach our values, traditions, and fundamental knowledge. I'm going to say neutral or hesitant to that one. Mass strike is a good way to acquire new rights. I would say, I would say, uh, I, I uh, somewhat agree. I somewhat agree. Yeah. If you are having a real problem with something, specifically in a workplace situation, then fucking fix that shit for yourself by going on strike. If you can get people to come to your cause and you can make it happen where opera, like operations get shut down because you're not, you're not working and, and you, they have, they're forced to negotiate with you. That's cool. In some specific conditions, the death penalty is justified. Uh, I would say absolutely agree. Woo! It is necessary to teach history in order to create a sense of belonging to the nation. Absolutely agree. Activism in existing political organizations is not relevant to change society. I would say I rather disagree. It is merit that explains differences of wealth between two individuals. Fuck. Uh, 
I don't think that's the only explanation. So if they're saying that it's the only explanation, then that makes... Because, mm, cause, I mean... Uh, no, I mean, look, look, dude, there's there's plenty of people who uh, are start off on a better footing. So I'm going to go ahead and say I rather disagree. Okay, it's not the exp only explanation. The social roles of women and men can partly be explained by biological differences. <laughs> Absolutely agree. Uh, it is important to encourage an agriculture. Uh, um, actually, well, let's return to the previous question real quick. The social rules of women can partly be explained. Yes, partly. Okay, partly. I wasn't sure if it was absolute. I, I do apologize. I wanted to make sure. It is important to encourage an agriculture that maintains a food biodiversity, even if its output is inferior. Um, not even if it's if its output is inferior, and that would mean that the output is is not meeting the demands of the people. I guess. Um, uh, uh, or meet meet in the sta meet the standards. So I'm going to say I, I I I rather disagree. It is necessary to remove regulations in labor legislation to encourage far firms to hire. Uh, labor legislation. Mm. Um, shit. Uh, re labor legislation, regulations in labor. Uh. I would say I, I rather disagree. They should be able to. They should be able to hire within within these legislations. These legislations aren't ridiculous. Like just hire people and 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 you know and fucking and 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 make them feel comfortable. Uh, we must fight against a global warming. I would say. Uh, I would say there are other things that are also very very important. So I'm gonna say somewhat agree. So I can't just say that it's like we must absolutely just do that. That's not only really, can't be the one focus. All sciences, even chemistry and biology, are not absolute and are subject to being shaped by our society. Uh, um, uh, by our society? Um, I would say rather disagree. Uh, I'm not much of a scientist, so I don't... Yeah, I, I would say rather disagree. We need to make compromises with the opposition to apply our ideas. Absolutely agree. Changes in an individual's way of life can induce changes in society. Absolutely agree. Foreigners living in my country should be allowed to act politically equally to those who have the nationality. Absolutely agree. Um, Absence. Oh, whoa, hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Foreigners living like no, 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 not for. Whoa, whoa. Absolutely disagree. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> I didn't read that question right. Holy, sh <laughs> I knew I felt something. I was like, that, that, that's not, uh, yeah, that's not, uh, like that's. I'm saying something wrong there. I felt something was wrong. Abstinence should be preferred to contraception to preserve the true nature of the sexual act. Uh, absolutely disagree. Homosexuals should not be treated equally to heterosexuals with regards. Absolutely disagree. Uh, it is acceptable that there are rich and poor people. Um, I rather disagree. I rather dis I'm going to disagree with that. Biologically, human beings are designed for heterosexuality. Ah, absolutely agree. It is a small group that consciously and secretly controls the world. Absolutely agree. Uh, and that isn't that isn't me. I'm not talking about Jews, by the way. I'm talking about fucking rich people. All right, that all have these meetings, these fucking rich ass people that are like, hey, by the way, how are you going to help me out today? Oh, I'm just going to go ahead and put this fucking law in place and then you can go ahead and do this thing for as much time and many times as you like. And they'll be like, oh, sick, here's some fucking money. That's how it works up there. That's pretty much what's happening. We don't have, by the way, we haven't replaced our kings. We have new kings. We just don't know who the fuck they are. My country must pay for the damages caused by the crimes it committed in other countries. I'm going to go ahead and say somewhat agree on this, but before I actually click on somewhat agree, I just wanted to talk about it for a second. I'm not, uh, I'm, I'm assuming that they mean pay in the sense that, you know, uh, it doesn't necessarily mean like they're going to be paying like just raw, like money, but more in terms of like, you know, uh, contributions in terms of like what they, if they, uh, station military there to kind of keep things stable or, or if they, you know, um, um, just, you know, more diplomatic efforts and stuff like that. So I think that, yeah, I think that if, 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 if one tribe fucks another tribe and, you know, they stop fucking each other and uh, the other, the tribe that got more fucked, you know, uh, especially if they weren't the one that initiated the fucking, 
um, sh should kind of, you know, be hooked up a little, you know, like just like be a, yo, we're sorry, you know, so some would agree with that. I'll somewhat agree. Borders should eventually be abolished. Should is, is, is the hard thing. Will they eventually be abolished? I think that they're going to eventually come to a point where, where we're going to, um, okay, listen, I'm going to say somewhat agree, okay? But the reason why I'm going to say somewhat agree is this. I think that when we develop artificial intelligence and everyone is going to be pretty much watched, everyone, all the movement is going to be tracked of down to the individual level because we will have systems in place that are going to be powerful enough to do that. You will not have the need for regular borders. Everyone will kind of be where they are and that's what's going to happen. So I'm going to say somewhat agree. Um, and I don't think that this is going to really change. I think that Japan is going to remain in Japan. I think India is going to remain in India. I think that, uh, you know, um, I, if they stop doing some weird fucking shit in Europe, Europe is going to remain Europe, you know, predominantly white. India is going to be predominantly Indian, Japan, and so on and so forth. Um, but I feel like people are going to be allowed to move freely. And I feel like the people who are going to move freely aren't going to be the many. It's going to be the few. And the many are just going to choose to stay with their own kind and their own people. And that'll just happen naturally. And I think that it already does. There's a lot of people that live and die in Montreal. They, they never even leave. They just never been anywhere else. They've never seen the world. They just live and die here because that's where, that's where their home is. And that's where their happiness is. So I'm going to say someone agree because I think that's inevitable because we're moving towards a more global society uh, at an alarming rate because we're all being so exposed to communication with each other. Now, please, please don't fucking shit on me for saying this, okay? This is just my belief. I just think this is what's happening based on the things that are going on. Going on. If you disagree, please, by all means, by all means, talk to me about this disagreement. I would love to talk about it. I'd love to hash it out. I'd love to hash it out. Um, environmental norms should be influenced by mass uh, should should be influenced by mass consumption, and not from an authority. Uh, okay, this is interesting. Um, I would so this I be, I believe is like if someone has the authority to say I believe that this is wrong and we shouldn't be working this way, uh, then uh, um, then that's then it would be wrong of them to kind of you know t make that make that decision for people even though that's may, that may not be what the people want. So I'm gonna go ahead and say uh, um, I'm gonna say somewhat agree. I think that authority needs to come in because authority is generally tied to uh, uh, levels of, of, of research that, that most normal people don't have. So if they see that the research would suggest that something is better, you know, they need to work with the people. It is acceptable that some industry sectors are private. Uh, absolutely agree. Absolutely agree. I'm equally concerned about the inhabitants of my country and uh, and those of other countries. I would say I'd rather disagree. Um, actually, uh, yeah, I would say rather disagree. You know, and I think that my country extends also like uh, I uh, to the continent that I that I position the, and my country's uh, relationships with other people. So I genuinely care about what's going on in the states because I know what's happening in the states affects us. Um, but beyond that, I mean, I don't really give a shit what's happening in, you know, uh, uh, if something happens in, in, in some part of Africa, I'm not going to really care as much. Uh, the maximum allowed hours in the legal work week should be increased. Absolutely fucking disagree. That's fucking insane. <laughs> insane. This should be decreased, actually. Research produced by my country should not be available to other countries. I absolutely disagree. I think that if we are able to do something and we, you, everyone else should be kind of included, included on this and that they should be able to share in the knowledge. I think that's important. Euthanasia should be authorized. I absolutely agree. Selfishness is the overriding drive in the human species, no matter the context. Absolutely agree. My religion must be spread as widely as possible. Absolutely disagree. People need to stand up for their ideals, even if it leads them to betray their country. <laughs> I wonder how many edits are going to be made of this where people see my internal struggle. I'm going to say somewhat agree, okay? Because, because, um, because, you know, if your country's being so shit, you know, like for example, what Edward Edward Snowden did, you know, there, uh, he had to betray his country in order to kind of let the American public know that they were being watched. 
that it was that the that the reality was turning into an Orwellian nightmare, which is inevitable. It's gonna happen, you know, because people are need to be watched. People need to be fucking like. People don't, un- they, they, they need to be managed. People need to be managed. Unfortunately, this is the way it is. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just how it is. You know, you can't just be free and do all sorts of things. I'm not saying you need to be underneath the dictatorship, but there needs to be some form of management happening, right? Which is why I don't agree in abolishing the state. I think that the that there needs to always be in a government. So I'm going to say, uh, this is a hard one for me. Uh, it's I'm, I'm between somewhat agree or neutral or hesitant. And I, I and so far, I haven't really touched neutral or hesitant. I've been kind of firm on a lot of the things. But uh, I'm going to say... Because they're, what are their ideals? What if their ideals aren't ones that are universally agreeable? You know? I'm going to say neutral or hesitant. I have to be neutral and hesitant on that. Because it's just really just it's too too much. Preserving non-urban ecosystems is import, uh, is more important than creating jobs. I would say, uh, I would say rather disagree. Rather disagree. Actually, no, no. Uh, I'm going to say, I'm going to say neutral or hesitant. Actually, no. (laughs) Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I'm going to say, I'm going to say rather disagree. Uh, state-run companies should be managed like private ones and follow the logic of the market competition profitability. Um, state-run companies. Uh, so uh, I would say I would say no. I'd say I absolutely disagree. Absolutely disagree. Yeah, because because I mean. Uh, a state-run company would probably be a, a company that's run for the people. That's why it's a state-run company. So it should be, uh, it should be, it shouldn't be uh, like run as a, as a for-profit company. Multiculturalism is a threat to our society. I'm gonna say that I rather disagree. Um, actually, no. I'm gonna go to neutral or hesitant. I'm gonna say neutral or hesitant because. Um, you know, as you guys know, I live in Montreal and it is actually not bad over here. You know, we don't have issues over here. I know some people may, that you notice on Twitter may like to bark about it, but they're really the minority. If you were to actually come here, you would see that things are very, very chill. And we are considered a multicultural city. I do like to call it multi-ethnic though, because I feel like we have a dominant ruling culture, which is French culture. Everyone kind of needs to learn French here. So uh, that's why I'm neutral or hesitant in, in that regard, because I feel like I, a multiculturalism isn't really properly defined. Activists must always act in strict accordance with the law. Uh, I would say uh, somewhat agree. Somewhat agree. The right to be anonymous on the internet should be guaranteed. Oh man, this is a this is a tough one. I have I don't I've never been asked this question before. I'm gonna say somewhat agree, okay? And the reason why I'm gonna say somewhat agree instead of absolutely agree is because I think that if you are going to want to influence people politically, if you're going to go ahead and want to influence, uh, 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 you know, create actual change in terms of the entry of policy, you have to kind of, I think that you have to break anonymity, okay? Uh, there's a reason why I, uh, there's a reason why I will have respect for people uh, like, you know, um, uh, you know, just the, the people that actually put their face out there. It doesn't matter who they are, or what, what side of the political spectrum they're on. The fact that they put their face out there and they are willing to kind of like stand up for what they believe in and be like, this is my name. This is what I believe in. Kind of like what I do. Uh, I think that's important. And I think that, um, you know, I, I think that if you are going to do that, you should be, you should be, shouldn't be anonymous. Uh, but I don't think that most people should be subjected to if they want to just you know interact with things anonymously or explore a specific uh, realm of political discourse anonymously they should and they should totally be respected energy and transport structures should be a public matter uh absolutely agree absolutely agree the age of retirement should be lowered uh i absolutely disagree i think that when you retire you um you know you you your life starts ending 
Offshoring and outsourcing are necessary evils to improve production. I think that I think that uh, I think that I would somewhat agree with that. I do because uh, you know, if you if you have a a production based company, if you have something that in in which you know lots of items need to be produced at a rapid rate to satisfy a larger market, where the market that you're you're targeting uh, may have higher income demands, you do need to kind of outsource whatever you're producing in a place where they have lower income demands. Um, for a variety of reasons to kind of satisfy the market that you have targeted. That's the thing I truly believe in. Transforming ecosystems durably to increase the quality of life of human beings is legitimate. Uh, I, 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 I would say... Mm, 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 I would say... Uh... <laughs> Uh, I'm between somewhat agree or absolutely agree, but I would say uh, uh, ecosystems durably, I would say to increase the quality of human beings, uh, life, if you're going to increase the quality of, uh, uh, of life of human beings, that means that, you know, you are going to be transforming these ecosystems in a, in a, in an effective manner, which means that, which means not entirely destroying them. So I'm going to say absolutely agree. Tradition should be questioned. Um, absolutely agree. No one should get rich from owning a business, housing or land. The fuck get out of here <laughs> get out of here uh absolutely disagree the police should be armed absolutely agree it is necessary to avoid private uh monopoly what it is necessary to avoid private monopoly i don't know enough about this i can't really i'm gonna say neutral or hesitant i can't even say anything um ec economics aren't my strong uh aren't my isn't my strong point there's certain things that i kind of have an opinion on but uh, like that whole thing about outsourcing, but yeah, no, um, we should accept changes in our way of consuming fu food to limit the exploitation of nature. I, I, I absolutely agree. We should accept those. Yeah. Exploitation of fossil fuels is necessary at the moment. I absolutely agree. Um, oh, actually, you know what? No, no, it's, it's okay. It's necessary today. So I'm going to say somewhat agree. Okay. Because it's necessary today. But it's not going to be necessary in tomorrow, and we should be working on on, on maintaining uh, on working on sustainable, uh, more sustainable solutions. So renewable energy and all that shit. Techno uh, technological process progress must not uh, must well hold on, Bunty. Your brain's not functioning properly. Technological progress must not to change society too quickly. So it wasn't my brain; it's the fucking sentence. Must not change society too quickly, and I would say. Um, I would say I absolutely agree because it can uh, like rapid change really fucks things up. And you guys have noticed it. You guys have noticed it. And, you know, we are not ready for mass communication. Okay. It kind of just sprung up on us. Um, but, uh, but you know, it's inevitable. It's inevitable. It's just going to happen when technology gets introduced into the market. It's going to get introduced. And I think that, uh, uh, you know, it's just the way it is. Order and authority should be respected in all circumstances. In all circumstances, I would say rather disagree. Transgender individuals will never really be of the gender they would like to be. I'm going to say, based on the conversation that I've had with my transgender friends and the people that I care about, I'm going to say rather disagree. It is important that health should stay a public matter. Um, so that means no privatized healthcare. Uh, I'm going to say, uh, I can't say that I'm going to say neutral or hesitant on this because I feel like it's, it's something that I'm going to say somewhat agree. Okay. I'm going to say somewhat agree because I think that you should still have an option for privatized healthcare. The label market, labor market enslaves workers. Uh, I would say, um, I would say that the labor market in conjunction with with other markets absolutely does enslave workers. I think that there are a brand new variety of slaves that exist in North America today that just don't know they're slaves. So I'm going to say somewhat agree. The purpose of the judiciary system should be to punish those who went against the law. Um, I mean, that is what it is, right? If you break the law, 
you uh, are someone, um, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm going to say, I'm actually going to say someone agree to that as well. And the reason why I say that is because, uh, um, actually, fuck, man. I'm going to say neutral, okay? The reason why I'm going to say neutral is because I think that they should be re rehabilitated. I think that people should, to some degree, be rehabilitated, you know? Uh, I know that I kind of jumped, I jumped the gun with that that question about should that, that capital punishment is requirement for, like, some specific cases. And I still agree to that. I absolutely agree with that. But, like, I think in this case, um, actually, you know what? We're going to return to the previous question. And I'm going to say I disagree. Because I think that the judicial system should be there to kind of reform people. Uh, no, that's not even the... Uh, no, that should be... Uh, no, neutral or hesitant. I do apologize, guys. <laughs> neutral or hesitant. I'm going to be hesitant about that because I feel like I feel like it's... it's, it's I, re I really... I'm, I don't have enough of a solid opinion of it. As you guys can see, I'm struggling. Banks should remain private. Rather disagree. Um, the sacrifice of some civil liberties is a necessity in order to uh, be protected from terrorist acts. Um, um, by the way, guys, if you guys see that I immediately kind of jumped the gun uh, or, or I'm like super firm on that, uh, on something where I just go absolute degree or absolute disagree, it's probably because I just feel very confident about it and, and I don't really, if you want me to ask or elaborate on why I, or if you want to ask and or, or want me to elaborate on, on why I, I do want that, um, feel free to just go ahead and write in the comments below. Be like, hey, Bunty, uh, you know, what? Why do you, why do you think this way about that? And I'll, I'll answer you. The sacrifice of some civil liberties is a nece necessity in order to be protected from terrorist acts. Um, yeah, yeah, I would say someone agree. Foreigners enrich our culture. I would say, uh, uh, what the fuck? <laughs> Not all of them. Some of them fuck things up. Uh, and so um, I would say that that is a crazy... You can't just say that. So I would say rather disagree. I would say rather disagree. Um, maintaining a strong economic growth should be an objective for the government. I, of course, absolutely agree. Absolutely agree. Transhumanism will be beneficial because it will allow us to improve our capacities. What the fuck's transhumanism? Uh, what's transhumanism? Is that is that like transgender? What's transhumanism? What the fuck is that? What the fuck is transhumanism? Am I stupid for not knowing what the fuck transhumanism is? Transhumanism. I'm looking it up right now. The belief theory that the human race can evolve beyond its current physical and mental limitations. Oh yeah 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 yeah. Absolutely agree. Holy shit. Holy shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If two countries have similar ec ec economies, social systems, and environmental norms, then the free market between them has no negative impact. Yeah, I would say... I would say... Uh, yeah, I would say absolutely agree. I would say absolutely agree with that, yeah. Because, I mean, if they're the same, then... If they're same. If they're the same, same, but different... Uh, uh, different but same same or I don't know how the fuck it went but uh, yeah I would say so revolutions will always end up in a bad way uh, and the industrial um, mm, I don't know if I, if I think revolution I always think of like you know the, the communist revolution in China or I think of uh, you know uh, shit going south, uh, you know, in South America. I'm gonna go ahead and say, I wouldn't say, absolutely agree. We should always distance ourselves from protesters who use violence. Absolutely agree. Revenues and capital should be taxed to redis redistribute wealth. Absolutely disagree. All right. So uh, some sectors or type of employment should be financially supported. Um, if you guys notice a cut there, uh, it's because I I fucked up the delivery of of the of the of the question and i started uh <laughs> so so that's why i kind of i kind of went there went there um so uh i would say i would say i absolutely agree and the reason why i say that is because you know if you look at uh if you look at um some sectors that don't really turn a lot of profit but are kind of important like on an ecological level i think that they should be supported to some degree i think that we should be uh kind of invested in that and in, in things that you know don't necessarily ret return 
like like a, a a profit in capital, but a profit in in well being. The categories women and men are social constructs that should be given up. Uh, I would say I absolutely disagree. It is better to arrest someone potentially dangerous preventively rather than taking the risk of having them committing a crime. Uh, oh, you mean like, whoa, whoa ar arresting someone uh, because they're like a risk? Fuck. Uh, shit, that's hard, man. You know, I'm actually going to say, um, I'm going to say uh, rather disagree. Okay, uh, because uh, that's where I think like hate speech laws come in, right? Uh, or what, whatever, kind of, if there's some kind of like level, if someone's going to try to incite some violence, I think that, that, that they should be arrested. So if there's a, a high potential, then they should be. But I don't think that people should just be arrested because, you know, they say th something that's slightly questionable. So um, that's why I, wrote, I said rather disagree. It is not acceptable that human actions should lead to the extinction of, of species. Um, Uh, I would say I absolutely agree. Dismissals of employees should be forbid uh, forbidden, except if it's justified. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I absolutely agree. Like, why the fuck are you going to get rid of them if it's not justified? I mean, they need a job. So, yeah, if it's justified, it's justified. Sexual assaults are partly caused by men's natural impulse. God, um, like this natural desire to, to touch a lady, uh, and to want to have sex with a woman, because I, you know, if you're interested in women, uh, you will want to, at some point, put your penis in a woman, um, and some people, uh, have this natural impulse or this desire to do it, which I, I believe we all have, and they end up going uh, crazy. So I would say uh, I somewhat agree. I would say I somewhat agree. Citizens should not should take priority over foreigners. Absolutely agree! Uh, GMOs should be forbidden outside research and medical purposes. Uh, I uh, Depends. I would say I rather disagree because there's certain cases where they're fucked, but other cases that could be pretty good. So rather disagree. Social differences between ethnic groups cannot be explained by biology. I absolutely agree. Changing the system radically is. <laughs> I, love, I feel like people it's I feel like people are gonna watch this and like see my brain working they're gonna like pick up on cues and like how my brain works so like I sit down and I think I'm quiet about it uh, uh, changing the system radically is counterproductive uh, we should rather transform it progressively um, oh absolutely great absolutely great that's that should be there's no rat no no need for radical change it's all about having a conversation having dialogue it is unfair to set a minimal penalty for an offense or a crime. Um, a minimum, pe a minimal pe penalty for an offense. Uh, I think it is. I think it. I absolutely agree. Yeah, yeah. There's some minimal offense uh, uh, penalties for 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 having marijuana. That's fucked up. We need to establish a monarchy to federate the people and preserve our. So actually, we're gonna go back to that question. I'm gonna say somewhat agree. The reason I'm gonna say somewhat agree, okay, um, is because uh, let's go back real quick just to look at the question here. Um, there's some, some, uh, some things like, for example, I would say rape that should have a minimal penalty. Like there should not be like some people get off of rape, you know, in like a year because, uh, they worked out a deal or something like that. No, no, no. Um, but then again, actually, no, I absolutely agree. I do apologize. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. We need to establish a monarchy to federate the people and preserve our so our sovereignty. Um, absolutely disagree. <laughs> Hacking has... I like the royal family, but I don't think we need them. We don't necessarily need them anymore. I just like them for the cultural value that they provide. I really do. It's really just a nice thing. <laughs> Hacking has a legitimate place in political struggle. Um, I... Uh, Fuck, this is a hard question to answer, right? 
Because if someone's doing something wrong, how do you figure out they're doing something wrong without hacking them? But if they're doing something wrong, it, and they have to do it anyway, people should stand up for themselves. <sighs> Shit, that's hard, man. I'm going to say rather disagree. I'm going to say rather disagree, man. Because, because I, I like hate the fact that people try to fucking invade people's privacy. But you can always kind of tell if someone's kind of really fucked up. And, and you'll see, like, people will be like, whoa, that guy's, there's, there'll be a lot of people that be like, that guy's sketchy, you know? Or that girl's sketchy or something like that. Um, so I'm going to say rather disagree. Members of a nation or culture have some unchangeable characteristics that define them. Uh, I'm going to say somewhat agree. I'm going to say somewhat agree because I think that like if you really want, you can actually kind of just you can change based on 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 you know what you're where you're located but i think that you'll have some core values that you'll retain to at all times so prisons should no longer exist i absolutely disagree and prisons should exist but prisons should be reformed in a different like should be should be you know different uh loans contracted in the public sphere state regions collective should not necessarily be refunded uh Um, fuck man that's I, i'm gonna say neutral or hesitant i don't know enough i can't humans should neither neither eat nor exploit animals uh, i'm gonna say rather disagree okay i think that like it's just part of our part of our like we just are we're meat eaters you know, we kind of, we're omnivores in, in a way. We just kind of eat meat. Actually, hold on. I'm going to go up to a neutral, actually. A neutral. I do apologize, guys. I've, I've kind of bounced around on that. Reduction of waste should be done by reducing production. Uh... I would say somewhat agree. It is necessary to implement assemblies to ration our production to the consumers according to their needs. Uh, yeah, yeah, I would say, I would say, I, 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 I absolutely agree with that. You know, if, uh, if, uh, if they don't need anything more than whatever they, yeah, you should, shouldn't kind of like, you don't need to actually like produce more than is, than is required. That's why I believe. Uh, social assistance deters people from working. Um, I'm going to say I'm neutral or hesitant on that because I think that, you know, some people will still try to work while others will 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 not work. Uh, and I think that if we had a universal basic income uh, and everyone kind of just was making some money, we'd have some people that would for sure not do anything. But then we'd have people who would try to do more than whatever they're doing. Um, looking for one's own profit is healthy for the economy. Mm, I would say somewhat agree because I mean, it depends on what you're trying to do. But I think that for the most part, if you want to be an active part of the economy in the sense that you want to produce wealth, uh, then you will benefit the economy. But if you want to produce wealth in a shitty manner, then you will fuck up the economy. Uh, the, uh, the fact that some schools and universities are private is not a problem. Oh yeah. Yeah, for sure. I absolutely agree. That's not a problem. Armed struggle in a country is sometimes necessary. Um, <laughs> Armed struggle in the country is sometimes necessary. Yeah, yeah, I somewhat agree. I somewhat agree. It's it's uh, if we're uh, if if we're at war, if it comes to that, if someone if someone fucks things up, all right, and decides to initiate it, and we have we have to respond in kind. So, somewhat agree. Wage labor is a form of theft from the workers by companies. If you're robbing them of wage labor, um, I would say I would say I'm I'm neutral or hesitant on this because I feel like people aren't being paid what they're worth. I genuinely feel that people aren't being paid what they're worth. Um, but I don't think that it's a form of of absolute theft. I think that you know they need they need a wage. They need they need to make money. And and these companies that are that are 
are you know producing things they need to they they need to have workers otherwise they don't produce anything so there's that individuals who get out of prison should be accompanied in their reinsertion absolutely agree a good citizen is a patriot uh i hmm a patriot will stand up for their fellow citizens. So a patriot is someone that will not fuck people over. That's what I believe, right? A real patriot is someone that doesn't care about what their what the other person's uh, what the other person's skin color is so long as that person says that they belong to that nation. So I think that I would say I absolutely agree. The main goal of a couple is to make at least one child. Um by the way guys, when I say that de- when I gave the definition of a patriot there, that is kind of what I have understood of the definition of a patriot. Like, I feel like I would stand up for someone that is in Canada, like, because they're Canadian. Like, I, 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 I love my fellow man in my country. So I think that I'm patriotic in that sense. The main goal of a couple is to make at least one child. I'm neutral or hesitant on that, you know, you don't need to do that, but it's right. Re- it's, I think it's chill if people have children. The values of my country are superior to those of other countries. I absolutely agree. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, America. It is legitimate for a country to intervene military, uh, to militarily to defend its economic interests. Um, uh, I would say, I would say, uh, shit, man. That's a hard one. That's a hard one. I'm going to say somewhat agree. Okay. Because, uh, if we're talking about uh, if we're talking about it from a personal standpoint, you know, I think that if Canada intervened in in a military sense to defend their economic interests, it would make sense because you know I believe that Canada's economy uh, supports Canada's culture, and I think that that is important. But I think that there's obviously other countries that do shit that's a little bit shady, and so uh, I'm gonna say somewhat agree, and not it's not always uh, uh, it's not always uh, legitimate. It's not always legitimate. But at the same time, I can't fault them. So, but, yeah, we've got some would agree. Justice should always take into consideration the context and the past of the condemned and adapt their penalty accordingly. Justice should always take into consideration the some past. Okay, uh, I would say... Depends how... Depends. Depends. It really, really depends on how how far the past is, right? Um, if it's like from years ago, years ago, and there's like no correlation, then no. But um, uh, but if it's like yesterday, then I think that's a completely different story. And so I'm gonna say someone agree. I'm gonna say someone agree. I do not have any problem if other official languages are added or replace the already existing language, official language in my country. Uh, I absolutely disagree. It is necessary to massively invest in research to improve productivity. Um, I would say uh, I would say somewhat agree because I mean, what is productivity? Productivity is is pretty much you know uh, the uh, it could be technology. So I think that that's that's important. The filing and storage of personal records should be delimited strictly, and database cross checking should be forbidden. Uh, delimited strictly. Uh, no, I, 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 I absolutely dis. I disagree. I, I, I think I, I think I rather disagree on that because, um, oh, personal records. Like, I mean, if it comes to like you know you getting a, if it comes to you getting like some kind of uh. Uh, if you have some kind of like like criminal record or something like that, I, I yeah, it, it makes sense. So I wouldn't say rather disagree. Actually, go back. I'm gonna get neutral. Has did man. Honestly, that's a fucked up question. <laughs> that's a fucked up question. A good policy is a pragmatic policy, without ideology. Um. A pragmatic policy. Like something that doesn't make sense. Like this is just logically what makes sense. Like, you know, sorry, it is what it is. It's not about, uh, you know, 
I would say uh, I would say somewhat agree. Okay, because I think that you still need to factor in some ideology. Hormonal differences can be explained some difference differences in individual characteristics between women and men. I would say I absolutely agree. Marriage should be abolished. I absolutely disagree. Conditions of life in jail should be greatly improved. I think that I um, somewhat agree. Uh, I absolutely agree because right now the jails, the the you know the the prison system. If we're talking about the prison system in America, all right, it just turns out more prison, uh, more 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 criminals. Um, we have a different prison. If you look at the prison systems in like other countries, like Norwegian countries. It's very, very different. I think Norway has a pretty good prison system, you know. Uh, national chauvinism during sport competition is not acceptable. Get out of here. I absolutely disagree. All right. If you want to, if you want to, to rep, if you, why the fuck do you have Team Canada or Team USA if you're not going to encourage national chauvinism? Come on, man. It's a competition. It's friendly. It's fun. It's fair. Get out of here. Get out of here. Come on. Uh, one is not born, but rather becomes a woman. Well, well, one is not born a man, but rather becomes a, woman, a man. So I would say, uh, I would say, I absolutely uh, agree. I would absolutely agree. You know, like what what is being a man? You know, uh, what is being a woman? Nowadays, employees are free to choose when signing a contract with their future employ uh, employer. Now, as employees are free to choose when signing a contract with their future employer. What? What? I'm gonna say neutral hesitant. I don't know what the fuck that means. Uh, man, I'm fucking. I feel stupid. <laughs> I feel fucking stupid. Um, free to choose what? Their wage? Yeah, I would say so. Someone agree. We're gonna say someone agree. Elections organized by the state cannot be uh, cannot question the powers in place. I. Um, I absolutely disagree. They should question them. Shouldn't they question the powers in place? They're organized. They're, yeah, no. They should question the powers in place. Absolutely. Did they say should not or should? Cannot. Yeah, okay. So absolutely disagree. Differences of treatment and quality of life in our society show that racism is still omnipresent. Um, treatment and quality of life in our society. Uh, yeah, I would say. I would say some would agree. Some would agree. There's definitely uh, some some bullshit happening, and uh, I think that people need to understand that uh, that it's still present, it's still there, all right? And we just need to address it in a way that's empathetic and in a way that doesn't alienate certain people, and just you know talk about it openly and be like, listen, this is what's happening. This is what I think is think it is. Can we at least talk about this at the very least? And and that's it. Minimum levels of salary should be ensured to make sure that a worker can live his uh, live of here. Uh, yeah, absolutely, absolutely agree, absolutely agree. Um, nobody is by nature predisposed to criminal criminality. Um, I would say I uh, absolutely agree. Yeah, absolutely agree. I had to think about that. I wasn't sure if I was somewhat or absolutely, but I just think that, you know, if you're born, uh, you're not born a criminal uh, and you are capable of of being raised in, in the right manner and and uh and that you won't fuck up you don't fuck up i don't think that i think that's uh i think that i think that external circumstances cause you to become that person but i don't think that you're not i think babies are innocent babies are children are innocent they're not they're not you know they're not predisposed to criminality um insurrection is necessary to deeply change uh society Um, no, I absolutely disagree. I think that the, to deeply change society starts on a personal level and then you go to your community and you enact change in your community and your, your, your immediate circles of influence. That's where it does, where it happens. It's not about like fucking doing some crazy shit all the time. You know, ha heavy penalties are efficient because they are dissuasive. I would, abs I would absolutely agree with that. Yeah. Like. If you murder someone, you're if you murder someone and you're caught murdering this person, and it's clear that you murdered this person, it's like murder in like the first degree, and you're fucking crazy. You know, it's premeditated and shit, and you're gonna die. You're gonna get the death penalty. I think that people would be like, you know what? I don't want to do that. I'm not gonna do that. But then they try to sneak some stuff up. But anyway, a language is defined by its users, not by scholars. That is an interesting question. That is so interesting. Um, and I would say. 
I would definitely say that uh, it, 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 it is kind of, it is, it is. Because we do modify the manner in which we talk because the majority of people that are talking talk a certain way. So the scholars are always changing. So I would say I absolutely agree with that. I absolutely agree. Abortion should be limited to specific cases. Uh, and I'm going to say I absolutely disagree. Uh, the state should be abolished. I absolutely disagree. Sexual orientation is a social construct. Uh, shit. Um, uh, I would say I, I don't know enough about that, but I, it just doesn't seem like it's so social. I feel like people are either uh, naturally attracted to someone or, or not. You know, like they're just... <sighs> Neutral or hesitant? I don't know enough about it. I can't even fucking talk about it. Sabotage is legitimate or uh, under certain conditions. Um, if you're at war and uh, you're under some kind of authoritative state, yeah, I would say I absolutely agree. Sabotage is legitimate under certain conditions. Like if you're being op oppressed in a way that's like really fucked up and and goes both ways. I mean, look. Uh, I, I love the society, right? So someone may be trying to actively sabotage the society that I'm living in right now. Um, and uh, and what I feel is legitimate is legitimate is, is, is not legitimate to some, someone else. But if we're talking about purely about uh, if, if the world were to run the way I do, like if like everyone had the same values I did, uh, I would say that it's totally legitimate to, uh, yeah, under certain conditions. Market economy is optimal, optimal when it's not regulated. Um, fuck man, that's a hard question to answer because once again, I'm not a, I'm not some economist. I don't know much about the economy, uh. So I'm gonna go ahead and say neutral or hesitant. Uh, I violence against individuals is never productive. I absolutely agree. So here we have the results, and uh, I got fatherland justice work. I don't know what that means, um, but it's nice. They give you a little bit of a flag. And, uh, and if you look over here, the first row, we got constructivism and essentialism, and I'm 50% in essentialism and 31% in constructivism with 19% in the middle, which means I, I think goes either way. And uh, I would say I'm more uh, of an essentialist in the sense that, like, you know, I, I, I generally, generally feel like, you know, there's a, a natural order to the things. And now that I think about my, my response to that question about, um, about you know some people being naturally uh, prone uh, or or being more uh, what's the word it was what's the word what was it it was uh, um, people that like would be a little bit more prone to violence or criminality of sorts I think that that would probably fall to men because I think that men are naturally more aggressive so I think that we are more likely to be criminals um, uh, you know now that I think about it I would probably answer that differently. Uh, and now I'm more about re rehabilitative justice and uh, as opposed to punitive justice, as you can see over here. And uh, I think that, you know, uh, pe people shouldn't just remain in prison. They should go to prison. They should be uh, rehabilitated and they should be able to come back out and become functioning members of society. There have been many cases in which this has happened. And I think that those cases need to be looked at and that kind of behavior needs to be encouraged. And then I'm more of a progressive as opposed to a conservative. I think that tradition is valuable. Uh, I think that we should be looking at our traditions and and uh, and utilizing them as a base for the future. All right. Um, I think that they need to be questioned. I think that need to, they, they, traditions do change, but um, but progress is 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 inevitable. And uh, what needs to happen is safe progress as opposed to radical, ridiculous progress where we're just doing shit for no reason. Uh, I'm, you know, more of a nationalist. Uh, that is very obvious. I give a shit about my country. I give a shit about where I live. I give a shit about the people who live with me. Uh, and uh, <laughs> that's just the way it is. Uh, this is a really interesting thing. I'm, I'm uh, straight down the middle with capitalism and communism. Um, and this is something that I'm sure if you have been paying attention, you'll have noticed way before uh, now, is that I'm ultimately looking for the perfect balance between both of these systems, right? I think that there is, there can be a balance that being found. I, if you look at small businesses, right? Small businesses only thrive because the community is thriving, right? But if the community isn't thriving, then a small business has no place there, right? Um, and uh, if you look at uh, companies like Walmart, companies like Walmart are a, uh, a an indication of, uh, of, of the system gone awry. Like it's, companies like Walmart are shit, right? 
uh, they're they're fucking fucking things up for people and and it's like uh it's i know it's it's old news but it's just an example of why i would probably be uh, i'd fall more to the communist side in that regard um i'm also believe that you know the markets need to be regulated and that's where my regulation is going and i think that's not just the economic market i don't think that's just like uh, the i'm not talking about trade here i'm just talking about in general we need regulations we need laws we need uh, we need to, uh, you know, put them in place so that people don't lose their minds. And then at that point, you know, we can kind of roll things back once we kind of observe a pattern of behavior. Um, and in terms of ecology and productivism, I'm definitely more of a, uh, I think that, uh, I think that, you know, uh, industry has provided us, uh, um, amazing benefits, but I think that we do need to be a little bit more, uh, um, we need to be a little bit more, uh, um, environmentally aware. That's what I was. So that's the word I was looking for. And in terms of a revolution and reformism, I think this is pretty obvious. I'm not some fucking nut job. <laughs> I don't want. I don't want people to lose their fucking minds, and I don't want people to start, you know, uh, taking a shit on everything. I want people to have discussion. I want people to talk about things, and I want things to kind of progress in a way that makes everybody happy or the most people happy. That'd be wonderful. So there's that. That's it. Um, guys, listen, if you really did enjoy that, I appreciate it. If you leave, le leave a like there, share this with a friend, share this test with a friend, do this test with a friend. It'll get some great discussions. Do this test with the fucking family. That'd be wonderful. Actually, really, really wonderful. Um, of course, have every one of them do their own test. Don't just do one test with a family, though. I think that could kind of work. That'd be interesting too. Um, if you guys uh, uh, want to see more of me on youtube.com, feel free to go ahead and hit that sub button. And if you really appreciate what I do on social media and, uh, on YouTube, feel free uh, to become a patron, you know, uh, you can become a patron for as little, little as a dollar a month, and it would mean the world to me. Uh, I, I would love to do this for a living. So that'd be great. But uh, thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Curtis. Love you. Bye bye.